Good morning. It is not morning. What time is it? It's 2.22. So happy 2.22 make a wish. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, welcome back. It's been a while as freaking usual. Today is a special, special day. Like, oh. <laughs> that was special. <laughs> it's so special. I'm really excited. Uh, this is probably going to look like a Gentle Marbles ripoff. Like, definitely. And for that, I'm sorry. 100k celebration. This is what this is. Also an excuse to get a hamster that I've wanted for a while. I always talked about wanting a fish. I was always like, I want to go fish, I want to go fish. And then the whole goldfish thing kind of messed up. Uh, pretty much to get a goldfish, I would need a lot of space and a lot of water. And they keep getting bigger and bigger to like suit their space. So I would never fully be able to give it the care that it needs. So goldfish, that little question's not happening. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to get a, a Siamese fighter fish or like a beta fish. However you say it. And... I looked at them and I looked at how to take care of them and I'm like, okay, maybe I can do this. And then I thought, maybe I could just get a hamster. <laughs> I can't hug a goldfish. I can't hold a goldfish. The goldfish, I, I mean, it's not going to look at me with love. It's not going to be like, Emma, you mean something to me. It's going to be like, I'm a fish and I'm only concerned with water things. So I really just... I feel that a hamster would benefit me more as a human being. I've had pet mice since I was a very young child. I like grew up with them and we bred them and always took care of mice uh, until about first, second year of university. So I know like basic care when it comes to this kind of stuff, but I like hamsters are illegal in Australia, so we can't have hamsters. And I always wondered why. I was always like, oh, I wish I had a hamster, but you know, we had mice instead. But now times have changed and I want to be in Japan for a long time and I feel definite this is a good decision I'm so excited I'm getting a hamster oh also first off let me show you this is my zucchini from Taylor B this is my tomato from Taylor B this lavender is not so happy but he's getting better and here's beefy I actually went to the home center close to me and got beefy a new pot so he's actually feeling so much better he was struggling for a bit as you can see by the uh, the ends of his leaves but his pot was really small and his um, roots were really tightly bunched in there and for some reason the water didn't drain properly in the old soil like it stayed moist for about two weeks and no more than that for, for ages and he was just not doing so well but now we've got really good soil really good pot he's got so much space and he is thriving what a cool dude I love him oh I wish I could hug him but I can't give him a pack Instead. Also, these guys are doing pretty good, just living life. So my friend, uh, she lives in Kawagoe, and she contacted me and she was like, Hey, I hear you want to get a hamster. I have a spare hamster cage. Please take it off my hands. And I was like, ooh. So let me show you the hamster cage that she gave me. Because a lot of the hamster cages in the pet stores were actually really small and not big enough. So this is what we're starting with. There's like an upstairs area with a lot of ventilation and bars, and then it's connected by this little tube right here. So I'll have to create some kind of step business or boxes um there's the toilet over there and here's this guy which is super convenient because i can just like pull him out like that refill him and then <laughs> slot him right back in it's so good this is what we're working with and i think that'll be a good size especially if i'll take him out quite a lot and play with him also this is my house right now it's a little bit messy but that's because i got friendship happening oh, it's fine too. now unfortunately with like hamster rules I'm not allowed to play with him for a while. So it's gonna be about four days where I just have to let him or her play around their cage and live their life and discover their new surroundings, make themselves at home. And I'm just slowly gonna introduce myself into their life because I don't really wanna freak them out and I've read all about it. So it should be fine if I just give it some time to chill. And yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Bye, see ya. <laughs> We're almost at the home center. Someone joined our party. Taylor B. <laughs> party member achieved. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, we're here. Oh. So we're gonna head in. I'm not sure if I'll be allowed to film in there. I'll just film until they tell me not to. Uh, and yeah, if I can't film in there, then I'll see you in a second with the hamster. Hopefully this all goes to plan. Sweet plants. <laughs> Oh my god. We're born in the same month. I got her. 
I didn't expect to get a girl, but I got a girl. I gotta have a roommate, a female roommate. Whew. But I'm taking her home. Okay, I gotta stop filming so I can hold her tightly. Going home. Okay, now it's time to set up the cage. Gotta do it quickly because I want her to get out of that box and into her new home. Sweet thing, you're doing so well. There you go. Good luck. Hi, welcome to Monkey Tiny House. the cutest thing in my life. I can't believe we're gonna be friends. <laughs> oh, that, that was adorable. She's only a month old. Hi. I, I shouldn't interact. I won't interact. Conceal, don't feel. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Are you all coming and shaving? Okay, so the downstairs area is pretty much done for now. I will tweak it and make it a little bit easier for her to get up. Yeah, so here's the inside. I've built like a little flimsy set of stairs, but she can also maybe climb up on this. I'll keep an eye on her tonight and see how she goes. Uh, but there's food there and I can supply some water as well, just in case she can't make it up to the second level tonight. Toilet over there. So she's already in her little house. But yeah, I haven't really figured out the top bit yet, but we'll figure it out. But that makes it nice and dark in there. And there's like a cardboard tube if she makes it up here. She can go in the cardboard tube and then come up here to get to water. But I'll supply more water tonight. Yeah, I decided on a name. It's going to be Moss. Uh, before I was saying Bumble, I really wanted it to be Bumble. But she just doesn't feel like a Bumble. She's, she's a little Moss. So yeah, I'm so excited. She seems so alert and happy and so cute. Oh my god. So I'm going to leave her for about four days uh, and gradually introduce myself to her and just be like, hey, what's up? Hi, I'm over here. But she's really friendly with people. She was like looking up and everything. So I think, I think we're gonna have a good relationship. I hope. We'll see. <laughs> Let's drink these beers. Nice white legs. Oh yeah. This you is how show I show to your followers. You'd be like, it's like a classic top, and then yeah. drive down like there. hi guys, and it seems like I'm sitting like, hi, welcome to my channel. But I'm I'm usually like, I really like white <laughs> wide legs. Taylor's gonna go. Hi. Bye. Oh, but you're almost <laughs> perfect. So Nailed close. Nailed it. Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for having me. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Okay, Can so we're gonna walk Taylor to the station and we're gonna go. So also I had a beer and I'm a little bit buzzed, but only a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. This is a really casual video and I feel weird doing an outro, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and not like this. But there'll be a lot more about my little hamster baby. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next time. I'm a little, a little drunk, oh no. I'll see you guys in the next video. Janet. Yeah.